I have a new video for you guys because today we are exposing Britney Spears' social media team. A lot of fans have been paying attention to her Instagram, looking for clues about her conservatorship or even a cry for help. But it turns out this entire time that Britney has been posting on her page, it was actually someone else. So let's talk about them. <laughs> As you guys probably know by now, Britney Spears has been stuck in a conservatorship for 13 years now. That's literally a prison sentence right there. And this conservatorship has given Britney's father complete control over her life. Whether it's Britney's finances or her everyday life choices, she doesn't have any say in anything that she does. This also includes her social media accounts. Britney's social media accounts fall under a trademark owned by Baby One More Time LLC. And because Britney is in a conservatorship with her father, her father technically owns all of these social media accounts. And that includes everything from Spotify to Facebook to anything that is Britney Spears. So when fans were talking about posts like these ones, it wasn't actually Britney Spears posting them. You guys can see this picture of a little child looking out of a cage and it literally says in the caption, the picture speaks for itself. Here's another picture where it looks like Britney would be trapped behind this wall and the caption reads, there's always a way out. This looks like paradise. There's a post she made of a keyhole with someone looking outwards, again, trying to make it look like she is trapped somewhere. And then finally, there's this picture, which I think is the craziest of the bunch, where it's a woman laying down. I've put myself in timeout until I can play nice with others. This may take a while. And then the caption reads, a while? How about a decade? Which would be about how long Britney Spears has been in her conservatorship at the time of this posting. Britney's brother, Brian, did do a podcast not that long ago, we talked about it on my channel, but in this podcast, he talks about how Britney will send content to a team and they will post it for her on the internet. Brian, I want to know Britney's Instagram, her social media accounts. A lot of people are sometimes concerned about what, they, what they're seeing. Um, a lot of well wishes. Is Britney in control right now of her social media account? or? Yeah, yeah, she is. Absolutely. I, I I don't know how what the details are of it of like how you know, if she actually physically does it or if she sends it to you know, a team. But yes, yeah, she is. There's actually footage of Britney Spears asking someone from her team to tweet out a picture of her with some really tall guy, and it shows that she has to ask someone to post something. Thank I want to see it. I want to see it. <laughs> Oh, oh okay. my gosh! My time is running, so I have to ask you something. Let's tweet that out. <laughs> All right, you got it. Yeah. I have a feeling in that clip, it's kind of old, and Britney's life was a little bit different back then. But the question still remains, who is actually posting on Britney's account? Well, let me introduce you to Cassie Petrie and Jade Driver. They are the owners of a website called Crowdsurf. It's a digital marketing company who works with a bunch of celebrities on social media. As you guys can see in Cassie's little bio, she even mentions Britney Spears. And on Crowdsurf's website, they claim to specialize in social media strategy, innovative partnerships, content creation, and digital PR. In today's video, we're going to be talking a ton about Cassie Petrie because she seems to be very closely involved in Britney's life and especially her social media. This woman is extremely problematic and I will explain in this video why. You guys may be asking, who is Cassie Petrie? Well, at 12 years old, she started running an AOL newsletter for the Backstreet Boys, and after that, she got hired by Warner, where she led MySpace groups for up-and-coming artists. So she started getting into social media very young, at 12 years old, creating that newsletter. It led to her having a career in social media, and then she met her partner Jade, and they started Crowdsurf. Just so you guys know, today I'm pulling a bunch of receipts from Britney Hiatus, which is a Twitter account online who has been fighting for Britney's freedom. Definitely go check them out. But recently, Cassie Petrie was on a podcast called Failure is Funny. And in the interview, she actually claims that Crowdsurf, her company started with Jade, was only really ever taken seriously because Britney Spears was one of their first clients. The second big one that really kind of gave us the opportunity to really be taken a bit more seriously, not just the country music space, which is where we came from, but in, in pop music in general, was getting Britney Spears and 
that project, you know, you just never know who works on what and the turnover mm. in the music business is so crazy that like, you just always want to do a great job on every project, even if you're not passionate about it, because one, you never know who's going to be able to bring you into the project of your dreams. Mm. And we are actually working on Nashville Star. We did a really great job on it. And the person who worked on that happened to also work on Britney Spears and she hired us for that. And that I would say that was a really big moment for us and really kind of put us in the spot pop space we had always dreamed about, but it always kind of had country music clients up until yeah. that point. And that, you know, that was a big moment, but who would have known that working on Nashville star would lead to getting Britney Spears' project. You just never know where your big break's going to come from. So it's always important to operate with great excellence on all projects, no matter who they are and, you know, who works on them. She was able to get Britney Spears on board because someone from Britney's team hired them through a project that they were jointly working on called Nashville Star. Nashville Star is pretty much American Idol for country singers. And as we looked into Nashville Star a little bit more, we found out that this woman, Anastasia Brown, who is one of the judges, is actually connected to Britney's business manager, Lou M. Taylor. Their connection runs deep, and it actually looks like Anastasia Brown is also connected to some of Britney's companies as well. But let's get back to Cassie, because it looks like she's still on good terms with Lou M. Taylor. They follow each other on social media, and it actually looks like that Cassie even follows Larry Rudolph. The fact that they follow each other and still get along makes me think that they are still working together. But Cassie and Crowdsurf's relationship with Britney and Lou M. Taylor goes way back. Back to the Femme Fatale tour. Crowdsurf was trying some new technology called Crowd Boost, and pretty much they used Britney Spears' account along with a few other accounts as a case study to see how this would work. It's kind of odd to think that they would use Britney's social media account to test out a new AI system, but supposedly the bot would interact with fans and reply and it would do all of the work, yet there was no one behind it. But Crowd Booster wasn't the only experiment that Crowdsurf did on Britney's social media account. They also tested a program called AMPSI, and pretty much this service would monitor Britney's social media accounts. And it looks like they've used this program with Britney Spears, Miley Cyrus, Aerosmith, Billy Joel, etc. Do you guys remember when Miley Cyrus was replying to everyone's TikToks, telling them what to do? Imagine if that was just AI the entire time. There's an interview Cassie did with her business partner, and during this interview, they brought up Britney Spears and the fact that Britney Spears follows Cassie on Instagram, which makes me think that Cassie probably went on Britney's account and made her follow her back because when she was asked about this, she had kind of a weird reaction. When we walked into the studio, I think, Jade, you had commented, you saw like our beads here and you said, yes. oh, it makes me think of Britney and the oops, I did <laughs> yeah, it again. Absolutely. <laughs> and one of the things I loved on your social media, Cassie, you had a picture of Britney and someone had commented, hey, why does Britney follow you? And someone else then commented <laughs> saying, clearly they're friends. You know, I loved that. People invent their own <laughs> narratives online about, like, I, sometimes I'll go into, like, a message board somewhere and just read, like, 32 pages of something. You're like, none of that is accurate, but I love how creative people are. It's true, amazing. True. I love, like, just the narratives that people, and sometimes the narratives, they, they guess them, but they're right, and they are really smart about deciphering. Sometimes it just completely goes somewhere else, but you have to admire, like, the creativity, especially if the conversation stays in, like, a positive lane. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I also love how she admits to going online and reading about forums because she, I believe, is behind a lot of the accounts being removed on social media and she's that tech guru that Lou and Taylor needed on her side to fight the Free Britney movement. Cassie was also around during Britney's time on X Factor. She posted this picture of Britney and captioned it, Today I got to be paparazzi for a moment. And here is another picture she posted of Britney and she captioned it, I think I may have to take up being a professional photographer as a part-time profession. While on the X Factor, Cassie actually had a great opportunity to work with Fifth Harmony. Keep in mind that Fifth Harmony is also signed on a record deal with Larry Rudolph. Cassie, I always loved the story about how you actually worked with Fifth Harmony when you were working at X Factor USA and you were there from the day that they auditioned all the way through them getting a record deal and work with them for years after. I'd love for you to kind of expand on that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's one of my, when somebody asks, like, what, have you been on a project since the beginning? Like Fifth Harmony is a project that I was on since the beginning. I, I saw and met all the girls as individuals uh, because they all auditioned as individuals on the show and then they were put together on the show and they had 
Uh, they actually had two names before they were Fifth Harmony on the show. They were um, called the Lilas, which is Love You Like a Sis. Love You Like a Sis. And then they also had uh, the name 1432, which apparently is like, I never went through my pager phase. I, st- I kind of want to. Though, yes, 143 is I love you, so I love you too. Yes. Yeah. Fifth Harmony finally got named Fifth Harmony. And I actually remember this being like kind of one of the more um, exciting slash stressful moments of, of my career, actually. Um, I would, This was in 2012, so it was about six years ago before... You know, social media wasn't, it's, it was popular then, but it wasn't as, I guess, as important or viewed as important as it is now. And there was, um, there was a moment in the show where they were going to announce Fifth Harmony's new name. And my, the task I had at hand was to change their Twitter handle live as that announcement happened on air. So, it, and it's, it's now like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, they all have these amazing people that would have been able to help me with this moment, but that just didn't exist at that point. So I literally had like, two different computers open and basically had to flip, like had to time it so that I had to flip flop the handle names at the same time, like right before Simon Cal announced it. And um, it, I was very stressed because you want to make sure that like somebody else doesn't get your name before it's announced, but you also want to make sure that you don't reveal the account name being changed before it's announced on air. So it was one of those uh, moments where I was like, I really hope something doesn't time out. I really hope the internet works. Cause at that point I was like, working like in a tent, like behind the stage. <laughs> so it, it was just one of those moments where I'm like, I really hope this goes right because otherwise they're not going to have at Fifth Harmony. But it went great. And you got at Fifth Harmony and it's there now. It's been, it has millions and millions of followers and you started that Twitter account. Like yeah. many others we started. It's, it's, I've always thought, how does that work with like social media and do the influencers just like work with Twitter to get their handles changed? But it looks like it's actually a legit person behind that social media account running it. However, the person who is paying them to do so wants it to be done. And it seems like Cassie's relationship with Larry Rudolph has benefited her and given her even more work. Lauren Gray is one of Larry's clients and it turns out that Cassie actually does social media for her. For Cassie, this is just one more big celebrity social media that she is running, but it's clear to see that she is on team Larry Rudolph, which is not a good team to be on. But it does look like Cassie is getting some success for working with people like Larry. She was actually named one of Forbes 30 under 30 in the music section years ago, and that's a huge honor for Cassie, and one she probably got by having those really intense connections in Hollywood. But it does seem like CrowdSurf is in some hot water at the moment because a lot of people have been pressuring them, knowing that they are running Britney's social media and that Britney at the same time is asking for help on it, are leaving fans feeling betrayed. The clues that we have been talking about coming from Britney Spears aren't really coming from Britney at all. One thing I've noticed from CrowdSurf's Twitter is that they've deleted a bunch of tweets where they have tagged Britney Spears. It seems like they are trying to cover up their relationship with Britney Spears and hide the fact that they are involved in her conservatorship. But it looks like when Britney was going to do her domination residency show in Vegas back in 2018, that CrowdSurf was actually actively promoting the show online. So even though they deleted previous tweets with Britney Spears, they still are heavily involved with Britney. And it looks like right up to her working strike that they were working with her. And I believe they're still working with her. You guys know that a lot of free Britney accounts have just disappeared and been deleted from social media. When we've talked about this on my channel, I brought up a few different theories, and one of them was that Lou and Taylor was actually hiring people to remove these accounts, like a firm to. But it actually turns out that CrowdSurf offers a service like this, and they will remove content they deemed as copyrighted from the internet for their clients, which could be free Britney accounts. If they are posting pictures of Britney that are claimed to be copyrighted, they can easily remove them. Okay, CrowdSurf, there's marketing, there's publicity, mm-hmm. there's a bunch of other stuff. What yeah, am I there's also, we have a creative department. We can do anything from photo shoots to video shoots, et cetera. But we also have a, we call them the farm team, but it's the copyright takedown kind of department okay. and at some point. So that's essentially what we do. We but take stuff down. It's on the internet and you have this conception that it's out there. Yeah. It, it's out there forever. Right. Is it really out there forever? Yeah, you can like, get it. You can take anything down. You can get anything up, you can take anything down. You know, there's ways to do it. You can get anything taken down. A lot of it's just asking. Sometimes you have to get really creative with legal. Uh, and decide like why this needs to be taken down. You know, it sounds thing. expensive. Uh, it's a little expensive, it can be. but it's uh, also like super valuable. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you know. okay. So it's kind of priceless in some ways. <laughs> Jade Driver was speaking in that interview, and obviously she was referring to some interviews and some music and things like that, but it also goes for pictures and social media and everything else. 
So speeding up to April 2019, Britney posted this on her page. This is after news had broke that Britney entered a mental health facility. We have to believe that Cassie had a role in posting this on her Instagram. We have to believe that Cassie had a role in posting this on Britney's Instagram to make it seem like her going into a mental health facility was voluntary. Even though we know that Britney would never use that little smiley that we see at the end of the caption. But the interesting part about that video clip is is that the caption definitely doesn't match with the video itself. It actually turns out that she's at the facility when she's filming this. I can't find any pictures right now, but there are photos that show the rooms at the facility and it looks just like the room in the background of this video. But the caption doesn't match up with the video at all and it makes me think that someone else wrote the caption. Who do you think that was? Probably Cassie. Hi guys, just checking in with all of you who are concerned about me, all is well. My family has been going through a lot of stress and anxiety lately, so I just needed time to deal. But don't worry, I'll be back very soon. Keep in mind, guys, that Brittany reportedly told a judge that her dad put her into a mental health facility against her will and forced her to take medication that she did not want to take. That's obviously really scary because mental health medication can really mess with your brain, and if you don't want that medication, there's a good reason why, because it's probably messing with your psyche. But it gets weirder because it seems like Cassie has used Brittany's Instagram to kind of post whatever she wants. So Brittany posted this book on her Instagram page page and it's whatever it's cool actually a lot of the comments were like I wanted to go buy this book now because people were like if Britney Spears is reading it I'm going to read it but in fact it might not have been Britney reading it but Cassie actually reading it and she just posted it on Britney's page because it's one of her favorite books it also seems that CrowdSurf has used Britney's platform to push some of their own narratives so there's this whole situation going on with repeal 50-a and I don't even know what that means but Britney posted about it on her page and it seems like she just posted about it because Cassie needed that extra support. This part really scares me because using Britney's platform to influence policy or influence opinion and it's not even Britney seems so wrong. It's like you guys know when uh, Taylor Swift was like tweeting out political things it caused a lot of uh, political chaos because a lot of people started becoming involved and imagine if Taylor Swift never actually tweeted that out but someone who was corrupt did and that reminds me of this. There's another thing I found on Britney's page and Cassie's page that really bothers me. So you guys know Britney went on a pretty long vacation to Hawaii not that long ago, which honestly sounds really, really nice, but whatever. She went on this vacation, and we know Sam is there, and we know she had a good time, but guess who else was there? Well, Cassie was. Literally the same pool. I mean, look at the pool here. And the same bay, the same spot in Hawaii. This person is on vacation, probably with Britney's money, to collect pictures for Instagram and social media and for Britney. And I'm sure she's the one probably taking the pictures for Britney and Sam when they are out in public. Cassie actually shared a little bit about her experience living in Hawaii for a couple of weeks. And it really seems like she was there the same time as Britney, the same spot to be there with Britney. I don't know to watch Britney or to just run social media or what, but it's clear that she was definitely with her. And I'm almost certain that Britney probably paid for Cassie's trip to go on that vacation. Ever since the beginning of the Free Britney movement, people have been wondering, is Britney posting on her own page? Are these conspiracies that she is trying to share to um, enlighten her fans and try to get her freedom back? What is going on with Britney's social media accounts? And honestly, I guess we really don't know at the end of the day, but Cassie does. And she is part of this. When I talk about the corrupt crew of people running Britney's life. That includes her father, Lou M. Taylor, Andrew Wallet, but it also includes Cassie because she has done some questionable things on Britney's account and it seems like she is involved. You guys may remember there was a very popular TikTok that was going around from someone who wanted to be anonymous but supposedly worked on a superstars team and was forced to post weird things on social media for them. A lot of people believe that was about Britney Spears and I kind of feel like Cassie is one of those people or at least she's the boss and she is having you know her employees post for Britney 
But all of this has put a really bad taste in my mouth. And now that we know that this woman is controlling Britney's social media, it makes me question every single thing that Britney has posted. But I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think this woman is posting everything Britney has posted? Do you think she's posting for Britney? Do you think Britney is telling her to post these things? Or do you think it's like the uh, TikTok where Britney has no say at all? Because in my opinion, I have a feeling she doesn't have any say at all and that this Instagram and Britney's social media is a tool that the bad side is trying to use to keep her under wraps. So leave a comment what you guys think below and I will see you guys in a new video soon. Bye guys.